everybody once again this is Akawa Kazoo and this will be the last video for the Stormwind series to see how he has, he has done in the tournament thus far. His opponent will be Bam JR a mercenary and right now he will be having some difficulty dealing with the mercenary due to them having high super armors in most of the skills that they do. So the usual void blast and normal attack blast time stop or reactive time stop combo will not work that easily. So right now you can see that Bam JR has already a uh, huge advantage against Stormwinds and Stormwinds is already down to 5% HP so it looks like this round is going to go to Bam JR the mercenary so how Bam JR actually got to fighting for this third fourth placing will be reviewed in the upcoming videos after this so stay tuned to find out more so right now Stormwinds journey has ended in this video where he will achieve a uh, overall fourth in the tournament so Let's see how Bam JR actually takes down Stormwinds Even though Stormwinds will actually do quite well in this matchup So right now what Bam JR has is he has mobility because the warrior class is there So they can't actually be flinched by Ninetales laser that easily Stormwinds is actually still doing very fine Trying to get Bam JR to be caught within the slow area of effect But there will be times where that will be used actually against himself So right now a time stop hits from Stormwinds followed by a special shower but look Bam JR is not taking much HP losses, he still has about 75% HP there. And nice nice little laser blood slow from Stormwinds. But the, the gravity ball and linear ray didn't connect and unlucky Stormwinds there got hit by the um, Cyclone X attack. So the reactive time stop can't work because I actually went to read up the skill description. It says that it can only work if you are on the ground. So if you are in the air or you are getting hit um, if you're on a, in the air or on the ground, reactive time stop actually doesn't work. I mean, you'll see the skill being cast, but the opponent will not be time stop at all. So right now, I'm moving on to the third round. And I think Stormwind is trying to figure out a strategy against um, Pembroke, and he still does his Void Blast and normal attack very well, but um, Warriors have Relief and um, Area Evasion, so there's two that he need to raise before he actually can take down Pembroke. And right now, he has taken about 50% HP of Bamjira but look he has used too many of his cooldowns initially in the reactive time stop and he has brought Bamjira to about 30% HP so right now he's, he needs to wait for cooldown but he decides to fight in the spawning area which is not a good decision for him I think because of the constricted area I think the reason why he actually chose this area is because he doesn't want to get war bounced by Bamjira as a mercenary but look the mercenary actually needs only one rotation to take down the force user because Sorceress class is pretty squishy, so right now we are moving on to the 4th round and let's see what Stormwinds can do to match up against Bamjr. Bamjr is still, pretty, still being pretty um, passive here to try to bait the cooldowns of um, Stormwinds but the problem about this is fighting mercenaries is a problem for Stormwinds similarly like how Ice Guild Mages fight against um, him earlier because um, Stormwinds will need to go close to Vampire and Vampire actually has two reactive power skills one of them is Crisis Power and the other one can be activated when it does a special attack while being attacked so it actually flinches Stormwinds immediately when they attempt to get close and that actually gives Vampire an opening to attack Stormwinds once his time stop and reactive time stop is down so the mercenary actually can take a bunch of hits and once he has exhausted the cooldown of the force user can enter and combo easily like what he's trying to do now and look once again the reactive time stop hits MJR and but is the timing is long enough and there's a nice teleport by Stormwinds and it looks like it's gonna be close but look MJR is still standing right there because mercenaries are not a squishy class compared to force users so right now we are down to the final round and I think Stormwinds probably got the hang of it and he might be able to win one round so right now he's getting more clean Void Blast and normal attack um, combos so I think he's attempting to raise the area evasion and house of MJR before going in close but still getting hit by some simple skills like Circle Sync that we saw earlier and you sort of look the how the how range from the mercenary is actually pretty far and you can flinch the, the force user and force users have no eyes of fire shield so there's no way that they can actually avoid that house so right now he has baited a two house of the mercenary and but he got hit by chocolate waffles so Stormwind is trying hard I guess 
trying to make use of all the arsenal of skills that he has, like the slow effect. So right now, Bamjiao is in the slow arrow effect, while the slow arrow effect finishes. So time stop hits Bamjiao and grabs the ball and triple out combo plus spectrum shower. But look, Bamjiao still has around 30% HP left. He is still standing strong, and Stormwinds now has no skills to defend himself from Bamjiao. So right now, how has caught Stormwinds and. That was a nice white blast by Stormwind to blink out of the slow arrow effect to push them dry inside. So nice blink and dodge by Stormwind and I think this round will be going to Stormwind. Yeah, up overkill right here with reactive time stop and time stop. So I think Stormwind needs to actually do like two rotations of his usual combos to take down Pemdria. But against a personality it's definitely not easy because they have many skills that has higher super armor and that was really not easy for them to finish them. Look, the how has caught um, Stormwind's blink and that doesn't allow him to continue the usual combo that you do. So definitely looking a lot better for Bamjia. So Stormwind is trying his best. Time stop didn't hit this time and this will be huge for Bamjia. He's going in close, reactive time stop hits, but he knows he can take a little bit of beating and chocolate waffle hits Stormwind's hits on the ground right now. Oh no. He misses the X attack and he's using flying swing to soak the damage. He dodges spectrum shower and storm winds now down to 20% HP and he gets hit by circle swing and the demolition fist and storm winds dreams is over. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next video.